Hello, my name is Darren, and this video is to introduce my J44 project, which is getting this old Fairchild J44 turbojet engine running. Uh, I have always had an interest in mechanical, anything mechanical, and my main experience in, is electronics and electrical. So uh, I was in the Air Force four years in avionics, and around these kind of engines, you understand, you know, it's kind of neat to see them, but never really, you know, thought I'd ever own one. Uh, well, thanks to the internet and YouTube, um, I've been inspired by a couple of people that made videos and were nice enough to put them on YouTube. And uh, one was uh, a fellow named Carl, I believe from Australia, that him and a friend uh, were building turbojet engines from turbochargers way back in the late 80s and early 90s and he uh, was good enough to video all that and there's a couple of nice videos by them um, on YouTube you could look it up called Backyard Jet I recommend it uh, so thank you Carl uh, uh, unfortunately Carl has passed and left us but um, hey his memory is still going so a tribute to Carl uh, the other major influence for me was um, a guy named Agent JZ. He is a jet technician, jet engine technician, that um, has been kind enough to video a lot of his work and share his knowledge with us on YouTube. So he has over 300 videos to see. So if you're interested in jet engines, gas turbine engines and such, a hey, uh, recommended viewing, okay? So thanks, Jay. All right, uh, what I'm gonna do is, uh, in this video, at, toward the end here, we'll just put about a few short clips of uh, a, a start attempt where it didn't start and then two successful light offs after, um, let's just say, tuning the fuel mixture a little bit. And now not in fuel control mixture, but as in what I'm putting in the fuel cell, fuel tank. Uh, I started with just plain kerosene and after an unsuccessful start, the previous owner told me these engines, this is an older one, it has single igniter plug and it is hard to start so uh, I put just a couple gallons of gasoline long story short with the K1 and guess what uh, it, that's when we you saw you'll see the actual light offs uh, since then um, I've gone to the airport and bought um, Jet A and still mix a little gasoline to run through it uh, it just helps it start better yeah, it starts quicker and it's just a product of you know Pretty old technology, like I said, 1954 thereabouts is when this engine was manufactured. It is a uh, J44R20. Okay, so um, stay tuned. We'll show you a little bit about it, and then we'll show you some videos of it trying to start and, and starting, and then I will uh, make a separate video to uh, post a separate video with the very first run and con total run. Um, I was by myself when I did the little start attempts and I didn't have anybody to spot so I thought it wasn't very wise to get it running and be on my own here so I was waiting until I waited until I had some assistance to actually start and run the engine okay well so stand by okay here's my um, control console I built from a commercially available slope front consulate enclosure and um, same friend who fabricated the test stand uh, cut these holes and powder coated this cabinet for me this uh, is kind of a textured light blue gray um, and then I've installed your some simple gauges here we got your uh, exhaust gas temperature indicator percent RPM indicator and obviously a fuel level indicator and a hour, an hour meter not a hour meter an hour meter elapsed time which in, which is on whenever the fuel valve is on uh, a digital voltmeter to main, monitor battery and system voltage our switches for fuel pump starter igniter etc and then an emergency stop switch that is connected with a approximately 30 foot long 
cable, multi-conductor cable to the stand electrical box. All right, we'll switch over to here and you can see the stand is fairly simple, uh, but yet elegant. Made out of aluminum. We have here our um, fuel cell, 15 gallons, two batteries to get our 24 volt system, a fuel boost pump, which pumps fuel from the tank up to the engine. Then uh, the engine itself obviously installed and mounted. And these are uh, some custom motor mounts here that uh, again Mark made for me to fit this and uh, pretty clever. And then uh, here's, uh, here's our cannon connector or circular connector, military style or military type connector which attaches to the control console and then the other end obviously connects here to the electrical cabinet enclosure and that contains relays and some breakers and a starter solenoid <clears throat> all right and that is how uh, we're going to control this the throttle or power setting lever here is uh, an electric servo motor and gear reduction so this operates by an electrical switch over there on the console open and close that is very convenient as not to have to run any kind of mechanical connections for throttle linkage or power setting linkage everything else is pretty standard and you can see that when we got that going okay well uh, we're going to end this video with a few short clips with a start attempt that didn't start and then two actual starts after adjusting the fuel mixture not with fuel control but mixture put in the tank uh, I was attempting a start with K1 kerosene uh, the previous owner pointed out that these older engines this has one igniter plug it's a little harder to start um, and maybe the fuel they used in this engine was a little hotter. It, it probably wasn't Jet A or kerosene. It may very well have had some additives. I really don't know. But um, he recommended mixing a little gasoline in with the kerosene, which I did. And sure enough, that's when I got my first real start, or when it lit off. And you'll see a couple of those light off attempts. Um, I was by myself at that time no assistance so at that point i thought it was wise to not let it get out of hand or start running too fast so i shut it off each time waiting until i had some assistance here to uh, help me spot then so i will uh, post a video later after this one uh, of the actual running of the engine itself well stay tuned and uh, we'll have some uh, video clips of me starting or attempting to start and finally starting my first jet engine here in uh, in my driveway in an addition and uh, kind of hmm, pretty exciting like i said to hear it run for the first time in, in person even though this is a small engine it's uh, pretty awesome you can tell there's some power there uh, i'd really be interested to uh, see how it does after getting it out of town and on a take a trailer and move it out we'll go out to a some rural area where uh, some friends are that I can run it out there and not bother anybody and or obviously we don't want to hurt anybody if something were to come apart on this engine and do any damage or hurt anybody and it hurt so we'll get it out of the driveway here and go somewhere where it's a little safe safer how's that all right thank you stand by <laughs>
I guess that means it's running, but I got a little, still got a little residual fire inside there, so a little fuel left. 